During the 1950s, he was a vital component in the Los Angeles doo-wop culture. This man was a member of the Hollywood Flames, one of the area's most popular R&B vocal groups of all time. The focus of today's story is all about Bobby Bird, or otherwise known as Bobby Day. Before we get started in today's video, let's be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to be sure you won't miss out on any more uploads. Now, without further ado, let's cue that intro. Born Robert James Byrd on July 1st, 1928 in Fort Worth, Texas, he is the son of Julia Jennings. When he was just 15 years old, his family would relocate to Los Angeles and they would reside in Watts. The first thing that he learned while living in LA was songwriting. During the talent show that was sponsored by Johnny Otis in 1949, Byrd, he would meet David Ford, Curly Dinkins, and really Ray Rockwell. The quartet would create a musical group and it would call itself the Hollywood Four Flames. Rockwell, he would leave the group shortly after his formation and he was replaced by Clyde Tillis. The group, they would land their first gig when they was invited to perform at Johnny Otis Barrel House Club. Now while Dave was a member of the Flames, he would also be a member of various groups like the Jets, the Voices, the sounds, and the crescendos. With the flames, they will go on to release five singles, starting with Young Girl. Please tell me now. No, how much? Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. Later. In 1957, Day, he would create his own group, and they would call themselves Bobby Day and the Satellites. The group would then release a single, Little Bitty Pretty One. Now, as I mentioned before, when Day first came to LA, the first thing he discovered was songwriting. So several of the songs that I already mentioned was written by Day. But the most notable songs that he wrote was Over and Over, well, I went to a dance the other night. Everybody went stag. In 1965, this song was made more popular by the Dave Clark Five. They will also write the track, Little Bitty Pretty One, which was covered by several musicians, including Thurston Harris, Frankie Lyman, Clyde McFadder, and the Jackson Five. In 1959, he will release his debut album called Rockin' Ray Robin. This album gave us five charted singles along with Over and Over. This album will produce The Blue Bird, The Buzzard, and The Oriole. It started one night at a bird band slam. Crickets was a jumping with the swinging band. That's all I want. A sweet little kiss when we embrace. A pretty little smile that's always on your... Got a new girl. When I went to the dance, it was half past eight. My little girl had put me... And Rock and Robin. He rocks in the treetop all day long Hopping and a bopping and a singing his song Of course if you didn't recognize this song from Day I'm sure you recognize it from Michael Jackson In early 1957, Day he would meet Earl Nelson And the two, they would form a duo called Bob and Earl Which with Day, it had lasted from 1957 until 1959 With Day's distinctive voice, it kept him in high demand As he would record for 19 different labels by the 1960s and early 1970s, Day's style of doo-wop had been re by numerous of singers who will go on to become household names and they will go on to have certified classics. By the time Day settled, he had contributed to the business by finding Birdland Attraction and Quinn Publishing Songwriting Enterprises. On July 27, 1990, Day, he would pass away from prostate cancer at the age of 62. 
He was survived by his wife, Jackie, and the couple's four children. Now, as I mentioned in a Yvonne Fair video, I really couldn't find much of Bobby Day's life, but I provided what I could find. If you know Bobby Day personally or was around at the time or, you know, had the blessing to play with Bobby Day, if I'm wrong about anything or I just didn't mention anything, can you please drop it in the comment section below so I can revisit this video in the future. Now, without further ado, guys, I hope to see you guys in the next one.